Comrade Clueless. Welcome to another beer review. And today we're going over to Dublin to the Rascals Brewery. And we're having a look at the Strawberry Vanilla Shake IPA, clocking in at 5% ABV. So a creamy milkshake IPA, dry hopped with citra and mosaic. Stop drooling, start drinking. So yeah, pick this up from Beer 52. So without any further ado, let's get this open and see what we get. So I'm guessing this has got loads of lactose and vanilla in it. So we'll see how that comes out in the flavour, because sometimes that could just be way too much. The Milkshake IPA is a ones that I don't usually uh, gravitate to that much, but I don't know. The fact that it's got strawberries in there. You know, I'm a sucker for, for strawberry flavoured beers. And I like strawberries as well. So what's the actual ingredients on this? So barley, wheat, oats, hops, strawberry puree, lactose, vanilla, and of course, yeast. So lovely looking can there. I was actually going to uh, drink this out of um, one of those Sunday ice cream Sunday glasses, but can't be asked. Well, I could, I just forgot as I lifted it out of the fridge. But beer in the glass then, and it's got a really nice smell from over here already. Uh, pretty much looks exactly the same on camera as it does in person. A little bit darker, it's not a bright sort of hazy beer. Quite murky, got a little bit of a golden look to it. But yeah, nothing's coming through that at all. Head, well, it was initially one head, but it's died down uh, a little bit. But yeah, looking nice in this glass. Might use this uh, oversized Ramsbury glass for a while. So let's give it a swirl and a wee sniff. First of all, I'm just getting mainly the, that combination of citra and mosaic more than anything else. Vanilla coming through. It's got that creamy lactose aroma. Not too much though. But yeah, I would say it is primarily those um, hops. I think I'm getting like the slightest hint of strawberry. But it's it's predominantly the hops. I've said that about four times already. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Excuse me. The strawberry definitely comes through on the flavour. Mixes really nicely with that vanilla. Not too much. It's not too rich in terms of vanilla, not too sickly. Not too sickly sweet in general, which is nice. And yeah, th those sort of like additional ingredients are backed up nicely by that combination of citra and mosaic hops. I'll tell you what, that's a lovely little beer. Nice medium mouthfeel, but that lactose adds a little bit of creaminess to it. So it's not too rich, not too heavy. Subtle bitterness on the back end. I've got really no complaints about that. But then I'm going to throw you a curveball that completely goes against some of the points I was making a little bit earlier. Don't really get a strawberry milkshake vibe from it. It's like a it's like a nicely hopped fruited IPA. So, on the can, you might be expecting something, but what you actually get in the can 
it's just a really nicely brewed IPA. It really, really is. So I'm not going to be too too upset that it doesn't deliver what it says on the tin. Mm. It's just really nice. It really, really is. What a lovely surprise this is. I think I might have had a couple of Rascals beers in the past. Nothing comes to mind at all. But I like this. I like this a lot. It's really easy drinking as well. It's actually quite refreshing um, also. But there's just something in me that says I wish it was maybe a little bit more bombastic. Would, would that be the right word? But then again, you probably hear me going, oh, it's a bit too rich, a bit too sweet. So, disregard anything I say regarding this beer, aside from the fact that it's a really tasty IPA. Very nicely brewed. So, in terms of a rating then, for Rascal's Strawberry <coughs> Vanilla Shake, I'm going to give that, excuse me, an 8 out of 10. The more I'm drinking it, the more I'm picking up the strawberry and the more I'm actually liking it even more. I love strawberry IPAs. Mikola did an absolutely gorgeous one a couple of years ago as part of their Oregon Fruit series. And um, yeah, more breweries should brew IPAs with the likes of strawberries, blueberries, that sort of thing, because I think it it works nicely, especially those softer, sweeter uh, berry fruits. So yeah, eight and a half out of ten for Rascals, a strawberry and vanilla shake. If you've tried it, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. If you tried anything else from Rascals, recommendations always appreciated. I'm actually going to start jotting uh, recommendations down going forward. So then, if I come across them when I'm doing a beer, you know, beer order. I'll throw them in and I'll remember who's recommended it. Just swirling it around, sorry. There we go. Mm. Anyway, lovely stuff. We'll definitely be buying more Rascals uh, beers in the future. Cheers for watching, folks, and I shall hopefully see you all later. Comrade Clueless out.